How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another race analysis with Catch Our Vapors. This is the second round of the Mac Race Series, Cat 4-5. We are in Rock Hill, South Carolina. My name is Jared. And this is Spencer with you. We're going to do some of the race analysis for you. Uh, today we're going the left-hand direction, or clockwise. Surprise. In, yeah, it was a surprise. Some of the guys uh, convinced the race director to switch it up, which isn't necessarily a bad, bad thing, but it was definitely a surprise for me. Um, I've only done this direction one time. Yeah, first for me as well. And uh, I may have fibbed to Spencer a little bit, telling him that it is a little easier. And uh, Yeah, you're almost excited. Well, if you notice right here, like the pace is just so much quicker if you, you know, if you watch our previous video of the first round. And essentially it's all downhill with one long uphill. So it's about half and half, to be honest. So, you know, you got a really long time to um, recover and kind of recoup. Jumping right here into the action, we are three laps in. Uh, Spencer's on my wheel right now. We've got Josh up in the middle on the white and black kit. We've got Chris on the hard right in the purple Rafa, black and red Madonna. We've got a couple guys on the front right now. We are keeping the pace nice and steady. Um, I am feeling super tight in my buttocks and my hamstrings. Uh, I just got a new set of road pedals and shoes and I had only done like two short rides with them and I think I may have shot myself in the foot and I'm feeling like super tight and I'm just at this point even just three laps in you know I, I got a good warm-up before the race but I'm at the point now I'm like you know what, maybe I can just pick up the pace a little bit and this this hamstring thing will go away um, and I can maybe stand up on an uphill and kind of work it out what are you thinking so far Spencer three laps in uh, I'm thinking yeah we're going fast actually it wasn't too fast here I, I was enjoying the pace thinking I could hang um, and you look you were looking pretty strong so I was confident I think here coming up you make a move and I was like all right he's gonna go we're gonna keep doing our thing yeah um, I was feeling I was feeling okay other than the hamstrings feeling a little tight you know I was in the crash uh, two weeks ago for round one uh, so I've got a, a spare of hand-me-down wheels I put on and a new set of aluminum bars and um, my jersey, you can't tell, but the whole back of it has literally been zipped up <laughs> and stitched up. Um, thank you, Helga. Yes, thank you so much. So right here, I'm looking back at Spencer, and I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of this, and I'm going to go. And Spencer says, no, sir. <laughs> no way. Uh, I do about 10 to 12 hard pedals right here. Um, it's all downhill, so it's not a lot of power, and I carry a ton of speed. So they're going 35. I'm probably going 42, and I gap them pretty good. Um, through the downhill and through this flat to uphill transition. Yeah, you just feel everybody feeling that pace change right here. It just kind of starts racing. Yeah, uh, little did I know, I guess I was the guy who rung the bell and uh, shot the start gun, and the pace in the race was on at this point. Well, we never did have a warm-up lap, so uh, <laughs> surprise on that. That's yeah, well. there was no like neutral lap, so everyone was kind of... I think feeling feeling it. So you see me there I go on the right, you look in the back camera, that is me just going directly backwards. And <laughs> my hamstrings are on fire. Um, at this point, I'm just making excuses for myself. And this is the last you'll see of me. Um, I get dropped and I do not get back on. And uh, I immediately pull off and just go crack, up, crack open a beer. Yeah, and you're <laughs> watching us the whole time. Actually, you didn't yell at me too much, so thanks for that. But uh, yeah, I was actually pretty happy with um, when I was watching back, just happy with how I did, but uh, just spoiler, can't can't hang on later. Um, but I'm doing my best here. It definitely felt like a different race than the first one. Um, still on my second race, so a lot to learn. But uh, yeah, it just felt a little too fast for me. Yeah, so we're coming up on lap four right now to kind of give some people some perspective. So this race was faster than two weeks ago or the first round. Uh, this race average speed was 24.3. Uh, the first round was 22.5, so a pretty solid. Oh, there goes a the move. Yeah, they were flying. <laughs> I was just like, I'm still recovering, but uh, <laughs> we, we hang on. Um, and even you can see in the rear cam, like the main group is still way back there. And I'm like, I'm, I gotta stay up here, <laughs> but uh, I might be shooting myself in the foot. But uh, yeah, hang on. Um, and uh, this break, uh, I guess they. they, they bring it back but uh 
it, it still took a lot out of me. Yeah, so you, I think you're like right in the middle of the pack. So there's like seven in front of you and probably seven or eight behind you. And I was thinking like, I was looking at this. I was like, oh man, like if these guys can work together right here, like they can take half of the group and just split the field. Um, it doesn't end up happening. People kind of slow up on, take that corner relatively slow and don't really charge this too, too much. Um, so up front, you've got Josh, which is two positions ahead of Spencer, and you have Chris on the purple Rafa. He is, I want to say, P2, and then they are punching it pretty hard right here. Yeah, 42, I think. That's the fastest point for me. Yeah. Which still is probably the fastest I've gone racing. Yeah, um, if you look at the grade map right here, it goes to 1%, 2%, 3%. I believe it might hit 4 uh, on a tiny, tiny section. Um, but it's super long uphill, very consistent. Um, I think the average power from what I saw some other guys, it was like 350 to 400 was the average power up this hill, depending on um, who you were with. <clears throat> and so there's three guys off the front right now, and they are talking to each other, and they are going to straight try and do a break right here. Oh, there goes Chris. He's looking back. Um <laughs> Josh is right here. He's dropping back up there in the white and blue, black. He drops back off of this. Um, I was kind of surprised that he didn't stick with those guys. Maybe he was feeling a little tight, maybe a little tired. Well, I've always heard brakes don't really stick in Cat 4 or 5. <laughs> you are not wrong, uh, but it does happen. Um, so they are literally 40 yards ahead, and they are working together, steamrolling right here. Um, I was with you, Spencer. I didn't think they were going to stick with it. You know, we hadn't got a chance to race with these guys before. I don't believe uh, maybe the guy up in the front break in the blue had raced with us the previous round. I'm not sure. But the other two guys, it was their first race with us. So that break ends up sticking. If you look way ahead right now, you can see them cresting the hill. And so this is probably six laps in now, seven laps in. Ben's going up in the black and yellow right there. Here goes Josh. They're kind of leading a little bit of a charge. And I was thinking you guys were going to work together and bring it back. Um, what did you would you see in this whole group? Uh, yeah. It. I mean, it's when the group came back together, it felt like okay, um, I can kind of draft with all this. And um, if it was it was feeling like the pace went down, which might have helped that break away. And uh, yeah, I was thinking they would pull it back, but still just trying to recover. So here comes Henry. Um, he's looking fresh as well. He he didn't. Uh, better than in this race um i don't know i was kind of impressed he held on pretty well yeah he did a great job riding wheels uh, working up through the group kind of not getting it gaps too big on him um he right there before you guys hit that left hander he asked you he's like how are you feeling and <laughs> you said yeah and uh, then you started breathing really hard so actually i think i remember now i think he told me that you got dropped <laughs> and i said what <laughs> so i think that's the the truth of that it happens, man. I uh, had chestnut syndrome this race and uh, did not do well. And it happens. Um, that's and, you know, you said it before the race. Like your main goal is was trying to finish the race with the group. And um, I think that was all of our goals right here. And trying to trying to race a little better and um, just get get technical skills back under our belt and improve on those. Yeah, and uh, that speaking of technical, that turn felt technical and. Uh was a different experience for me. I, I really enjoyed uh, kind of mixing it up and doing that, that tight turn in a group. Uh, but yeah, I just felt like I was um, improving since the last race. And, uh, just got to get fitness up now. Yeah, so to go back to the stats I mentioned earlier, um, it was a two mile an hour increase from the first round to the second round for the Cat 4 fives. Uh, just to give another perspective, the Cat 3 4 race this same day for the second round was actually like three tenths slower than this race. So the Cat Four Five guys were a tad bit quicker um, on average throughout the whole race. You know, that's just data off of Strava that we we found and, and, and looked at. So how accurate is that? Who knows? But um, it definitely was faster, and we were definitely feeling it. Uh, I might have just gave a grunt there in the video. So <laughs> that's proof. Yeah, you guys are Ben's working harder right here in the black and yellow green socks. And I mean, this this hill is so tough. It's so long yeah, and, and then it climbs again. Yeah, and it's and, like all right. And it gives another ramp up. Um right here 
I think you're going to drop off a little bit and start losing wheels, feeling it really, really hard. The pace is kind of just staying really consistent. Yeah. I, th- I remember telling myself, I've got to at least hang on. And, and it slows down. I mean, you can count on it to, to slow down a little bit, give some effort, but, I mean, it just keeps happening and eventually takes a toll. Do you think that it just it stayed – consistent like that because everyone was up front trying in this main group yeah, was yeah. trying to catch those guys Thinking and about like, the break yeah, yeah just, and, and they had, like did surges and you had enough strong people to you know keep pushing it um, up and uh, you don't have your heart rate on here do you happen to remember what your heart rate was at this uh point? probably 180s uh yeah it was failing in the beginning so i just decided not to add it here but okay um yeah i don't i mean i was probably recovered here i was probably feeling good um yeah, like everybody's kind of slowing down, and then we hit that hill and climb it again, and yeah, I'm just not there yet, uh, but definitely an improvement uh, over the past few weeks and months. So what do you think overall about the course? Like, you you, you like this corkscrew turn coming up ahead? I never prefer going this way, I think. I hate, I hate that hill the other way, but it's just the punchier, I think, suits a little better. Um, or okay. just get a little more fitness on, on climbing a little, a little more. Okay. Um, so to recap, the, there's three more guys up on the break. Uh, they're, I believe it's 20 to 25 seconds off the front. They stay there the whole entire time, uh, and that is the race for those guys. If you want to check there, there is actually a video out. Chris posted one up. We'll put the link in the description. He ends up winning that race. He's in the purple rifle kit with the black and maroon Madonna. Yeah, he said first time racing, right? Yeah, first or time. Crit, crit race. Yeah, first time crit racing for him. So we'll link that in the description. You can check out that perspective with him. And this is where Spencer goes bye bye. Okay. Hey, there's still one more person I might tag on to. Let's see. Yo, that's a junior passing you. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you did a great job. Uh, this this direction is super tough, and um, we need to do it again just to get more practice under our belt. But luckily, the next round is the right hand way or the opposite direction. <laughs> so. Yeah, guys, we uh, we appreciate you watching. Let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, if you're in the video, give us your analysis, what your strategy was as well, what you thought about it. Catch you on the next one. Yeah, guys.